Okay folks, I'm going to tell you um, a variation on the Clark Bumble and this one just has a muddler head on it. So the hook I have on the vise is a size 10 standard heavyweight wet fly hook. The thread that I'm going to use to tie the fly is uni 3801 black. So I'm just going to come in and get the thread started behind the eye of the hook. Just going to knock on a bit of thread here, bringing my thread down past the point of the hook and removing the waist tag of thread. Now the first part of the tail is going to be golden pheasant tippets. So I'll just come in and pull these in the length. Come in with my scissors and remove the required amount of fibers. Right. I want my tail on this fly just to be the length of the body over the back. That's plenty for me, so I'll just come in with a pinch and loop. Got to take turns going down the shank of the hook. On top of that, I'm going to put on six strands of just brushing it out glow bright floss number seven just square these off just want them on top halfway into the halfway into the tails plenty to there just come around with pinch and loop a couple of turns to secure I want to come in and just trim these the length of the body. The rib on the fly is going to be an oval gold tinsel and small. Trim that off. Offer this up to the hook, much the length of the cut ends of the glow bright floss and tippet feathers. Now, I'm not worried about any lumps and bumps. I'm going to dub the body. I just want to make sure that these are tied in, everything secured in, and work my thread back down towards the tail and open turns. Now, there's a couple of wee fibers here in my head, just want to take those away. The body is going to be a medium claret dubbing. I'm going to use, you can use a dark claret, whatever you've got. So, I'm going to dub this on, take that the one way. Light it up and just bring my dubbing up the body. You can tighten up as you go. Nice and tight. Now, just up there, any excess, just want to remove it. Right, anything that's going forward, just sweep it back. Get my tan thread in front. The body haggle is going to be a black cock saddle haggle. So let's come in, take one off, remove the rubbish from the bottom of the haggle. A couple of tight turns to secure that in. Come in, trim this away. Then we're just looking to palmer the haggle down the body. I like to get two turns at the shoulder of the fly, and then three turns down the body to there. Okay. Keep the hold of the tip, find around with your oval gold tinsel. Nice and tight. I'm looking four turns of the oval gold up the body. Now, you have to leave a bit of space here at the front. If you're going to put a muddler head on. Now, just come around. A couple of turns to secure in the oval gold tinsel. Keep trim it away and you can break off your tip. Yeah, just going to come in with the valve rope. Just bring out some of the fibers that I may have caught in with the little gold tinsel and some of the dubbing into the dressing. Now, the next thing we're going to put a haggle in front of this. It'll be a Clark cock haggle. So, just come in. Stroke the fibers back to reveal the tip. One turn to hold, another turn to secure. Fold back the tip, just bring your thread back up over the tip and the haggle. Come in and locate the tip and break it away. So I like to come in with my scissors, stroke back the fibers on the feather, and then do one turn in front of the other. Now, if I had a claret cock saddle haggle, 
I would have put on the black and the claret haggle and palmered the both down the body, but I don't. So I'm just going to put the claret haggle on here in front. Right, that's plenty. Just going to file around with my thread. One turn to hold. A couple of turns to secure. I'm going to come in and just throw away the excess. Fold this back. Just bring my thread down to the eye. And back up again. Now, the muddler head is going to be up deer hair. This is deer hair dyed blue. So I want to take a good punch of the deer hair for the muddler head. Now, I'm just going to come in just trim this, trim that right close tight into the skin. If you can see that. Don't be trimming it away halfway up here. Trim it right in tight. Then you can always get back in to get another good bunch now. Just taking away any of the fluff that's in the deer hair because I'm going to stack it. We'll put it under the hair stagger. Tips first. Give us a rattle on the desk. It's all lined up. We'll take it out of the hair stagger. I'm going to offer this up. Now I'm going to leave a wee collar on this fly. So I'm just going to offer it up to there. Hold up a finger and thumb. I'm going to come round with two loose turns. And I'm going to let the, the deer hair spin. Now I'm going to pull some of it back. Not all of it. Just some of it. I'm keeping, I'm keeping my thread tight here. And letting my thread go. Come in with a turn, keeping the thread tight, make sure everything's coming back for you. Nice and tight, just take your time here, there's no rush. Bring your thread in front, always keeping your thread tight, never letting your thread go at this point. Just keep it nice and tight, get the thread turns in there tight into the eye. Come in, get your whip finishing tool. Still keeping your thread tight. You're not letting it go. Don't be letting the thread go. And they're a nice tight whip finish. And pull the thread nice and tight. Come in. Trim away the thread. Yeah. We'll just come in and bring out the longer part of the deer hair. Get it to sit out away from the rest. Now at this stage, we're going to clip the, the head. Now, this is just curve, an old pair of curved scissors that I have. Nothing special. And I'm just going to come in and I'm just going to rotate the base. And just clip her head. Now, this is probably the best part of tan muddler heads, most satisfying part for me, anyway. You can come in and clip away. Okay, just come in and we'll clear all the rubbish away. Come in and see where you are now. The longer parts just around right here. Now I want to leave a wee blue collar on the fly. Just take your time. We just leave favor here. Come under the straight scissors. And take it away. I'll tell you this wee bit up. Spur with me. This is just the most consuming part of it because you get clip this deer her all day. Until there's nothing left. That looks not too bad. Now, I didn't varnish the thread, so what I want to do is just come in, a wee bit of varnish, and just push it up into the eye. And then we'll come in with the wire and just clean out the eye. 
Hey, that's just a variant. <sighs> on a on a Clark Bumble. So it's just got the muddler head, and like I say, if I had a had a Clark cock saddle haggle, I would have palmered the two haggles down the body and then put the muddler head on. But sure, look, the, these patterns, you give them the go with the materials that you have. Um, and hopefully they can catch you a few fish.